books are constantly becoming movies, but they're not all transformed into critically acclaimed stage productions. Thousands of CMSD students just read The Children of Williston Lane, and then they saw it come to life in a live performance. It tells the true story of Lisa Yura, a young Jewish child and brilliant piano prodigy who fled from the Nazis in Austria in 1938, and how music helped her survive. The book and one-woman show is written and performed by Lisa's daughter, Mona Golubek, a concert piano player herself, who is traveling the country telling her mother's story, hoping it inspires youth who might be facing a harsh world in their own neighborhoods. You know, it's become a real mission for me and a real passion to bring this story to as many young people as I can and to families across the world now. And it's just been a, a thrilling um, experience. It, it takes a lot out. I've got to always find the strength within me to go out every, every day and give it my best. I had the most amazing mother. Her name was Lisa Yura, and she taught me the piano. But in those piano lessons, my mother told me the story of her life. And you're going to love this story if you don't know, if you haven't read the book just yet. Why? Well, when she talked with the piano, she always told me that each piece of music tells a story. She told me how she had a dream to become a great concert pianist. She told me how she was racing from the Nazis and how she ended up in a hostel in London with mysterious characters, falling in love with one of the boys in the hostel. So when she told me this story, I woke up one day and thought, I want to share this story with the world. So come back with me in time. Come back to World War II, right before World War II. I'm going to play the role of my mother. I'm going to be Mona telling the story. I'm going to be some of the characters. And through the music, you're going to learn. The performance is a little the over an hour long. And over the course of three days, she performed it six times at East Professional Center for ninth graders in CMSD and neighboring districts that participated in the citywide read. I'm hoping that it related to, that it gave them a message of empowerment, um, a positive message of really holding on to something, finding whatever your passion is. I've done now four years of touring and bringing this across America to different theaters, to different cities. Um, I just look at it as a, a profound privilege. But the real privilege is sitting in the audience, watching her mother's story unfold through chilling historic images and beautiful world-class piano music. One night, my grandmother took my mother by the hands and they went to her room to pack her suitcase. The train was leaving the very next day. I've seen it before, I've read the book, I've talked to Mona about it umpteen times, and still it brought tears to my eyes at the end. Cleveland businessman Bob Grease is so passionate about the story, he helped make the performance possible. It's a life-changing experience for a lot of these kids. To see a teenager who had such difficulties, and, and a lot of these kids have difficulties, but they see a show like this, and some of them have written and said, boy, if Lisa Jura could do it, I can do it. And if I follow my dreams, I can make things happen. And that's what we want to impress on these kids. And that's exactly what it did for both the students and the teachers. It motivated me and inspired me to like never give up, like no matter what like your life issues are. And like it just inspired me a lot, especially from her mother, how, she, how, like, how far she came from like being Jewish and her parents sent her away just by herself, like living in her family. It was like hard times to me. It actually inspired me a lot. She made it through these hard times, so it motivates me to think that I can do it too. I really enjoyed reading the book, and after watching the show, um, what, what I appreciated the most about it was just feeling the emotion with the music added in and um, feeling her personal experience really came through in the show. That's music to Mona's ears, not just as a compliment, but as a testament to the power of inspiring stories. We see repeating through history the same stories of, of devastation, so we've got to find an answer. And part of the way maybe of doing that is, is is sharing stories that, and especially if young kids can relate to the story of someone their own age who has gone through a, a challenge or adversity and comes out the other end 
we've got to we've got to keep pushing these stories of coming together if we're going to find a solution for this world. Mona performed at Playhouse Square in March 2015. She's also taken her one-woman show to New York, LA, San Francisco, and Chicago, just to name a few. For more stories like this, visit clevelandmetroschools.org slash news. Reporting from the CMSD TV studio, I'm Shannon Kantner.